about three hours ago we just got to the hotel we unpacked a little bit and i got ready tonight is not officially drag con drag con starts tomorrow but tonight me and my friend we are going to see trixie mattel in like an hour or two we're gonna finish eating and getting dressed and i'll show you guys my outfit and all of that so and my t-shirt stay tuned oh yeah my mom yeah you look great that was that. Okay guys, so we're currently in the taxi and I um, I forgot to show you guys my outfit, so I'm just gonna do it right now. So just bear with me, okay? I'm wearing this black jean jacket with a Trixie pin and just this bodysuit and this like pink sparkly skirt. I'll show you guys like a full body picture later. We love that. <laughs> we are on our way to the show. The lighting sucks, I will be back later. Not a pizza box with strings. Everybody say, "Aww." <laughs> Your love is easy, and I don't even try. Hey. Someday the sky was a burning bush, and well, I've been out to Austin, back to Boston, where I've been following the highways in my head. Go back to Wisconsin, then when I come home again, does anybody out there see my man? And um, you know my boyfriend, because of the situation, he hated that song until the checks started coming in, and now he loves that song. So. guys so quick little update on this whole trip so basically last night as you guys saw was the Trixie Mattel show we went to that it was really fun I cried it was great Laurence je te peux dire allô hein? oh excusez-moi hi <laughs> <laughs> well I don't know if you guys know on this channel but I'm like a really really big fan of hers so last night was a lot so today is the first day of Dracon so we have to head down there for like 2 30 it starts at 4 but we are gonna line up outside because we want to have the chance to get in and not miss anything but yeah so I'm gonna film that and I'll show you guys inside of Dracon and all of that and so I'll see you guys later
Hey you guys, so excuse this horrible lighting, um, so we just got done with, well, yeah, we just got done with DragCon day one, it was really exhausting, I will update you guys on everything once I get back to the hotel, but this is basically what the convention looks like when everyone is leaving, um, it was a great day, it was really exhausting, but it wasn't even a full day, which is what's so crazy, because tomorrow is like from 8am to 6 to actually to 6 p.m. and then we have another show which ends up like 11 so it's gonna be a long day but today was only from 2 to what time is it? 8. 8. So it's uh, not even that long. Anymore. I'm standing in front of Alyssa Edwards booth but she is no longer here. Everyone pretty much left. Oh look there's the vixen. I'll update you guys on everything later. Crazy. Hey you guys so we just left DragCon and we are currently on Broadway. We're going to the rest to a restaurant, a nice Mexican place. But we're waiting for my mom and just for a reservation. Yeah, this is so pointless. There's literally no point to this. I just wanted to update you guys. So, hey guys. So I didn't really update you guys after that last clip you just saw because we got back to the hotel pretty. Well, not really late, but we were exhausted because we stood in line all day and walked around all day and you know, it can get pretty exhausting. So basically we got back to the hotel and we crashed and just fell asleep. So. Right now it is currently like 6 a.m. It's day two of DragCon. The doors open at 10, but we have to get there at eight because we want to line up. So we are like the first to be there because otherwise it's way too crazy and you have to wait way too long. I had to do my makeup at 5 a.m. We're gonna eat and then we're probably gonna head out around like 7 30 so it's gonna be an early morning and also a late evening because we have a show tonight that we have to go to so it's gonna be really fun it's just gonna be a long day so yeah I'll see you guys later and I will update you throughout the day. again and I fully almost passed out so that was really great for me. I don't know if you can hear me at all but I'm really overwhelmed and really happy and I just want a hot dog because my brain cannot function anymore. I love Trixie Mattel so much. I waited for Trixie Mattel for three hours and like 15 minutes. It was long but it was definitely worth it. That was great. It was a great experience. I'll talk to you guys more about it later, obviously, because there's a lot of noise and a lot of people. I'm having a great day so far. There's like three hours left to the convention, and then we're going to battle on the runway. So, yeah. It's man. It's Leaving DragCon officially. These are our last moments in DragCon. I'm sad. Oh, everyone beats my ass.
Yes, it's me. I look so ugly. I don't, you know what? Maybe I'll blur this video out. It's fine. I've looked worse on this channel. Okay, so we just, well actually like an hour ago we got back from the show we were at that you guys just saw. It was really, really fun. It was so good. All the queens were amazing as you guys saw in the clips. And um, yeah, but it was just, you know, it's been a long day. I got up at 4 a.m. to do my makeup, and then we left like 7, and we got home at like midnight, so I'm a little tired. I've been up for 21 hours, and I kind of want to die. So I will update you guys when I am fully rested. Tomorrow we are heading back home, so I will not be attending the third day of DragCon, unfortunately. So I'm just really sad about that, and I really miss Trixie. And I really miss Bible a lot and Katya and I miss everyone and I'm just, I'm sad. I'll, I'll update you guys tomorrow in the car or somewhere. And hopefully I don't die of exhaustion before then. Bye, bitches. Good morning, guys. We just left the hotel. We are on our way back home. I'm really sad that we have to go. Are you sad we have to go? Yes. Yes, I'm very sad. There's still a day left to drag con, but we couldn't go because we have school tomorrow and we have exams. And it's not, this is not the time. And I'm sad. But I'll be back next year. And it was a great experience. Probably tell you guys more about that later, but currently we're leaving New York. So. I am very sad and I miss Trixie a lot. I'm sad. <laughs> uh. Oh my God, I wanna die. Okay, you guys, so I am back home. I'm also wearing like a full on winter jacket, so, but it's cold, so whatever, you're fine. No one's, you're not, you're not dying, I am. I am. So yeah, as I just said, I'm back home from New York. Got home 
on Sunday and it's currently Tuesday so two days ago and ever since I've been home I've been pretty sad I'm gonna be real with you guys this weekend was probably the best weekend of my life um that sounds so dramatic because I was literally just at like a convention or whatever but basically um it was like I can't even explain what it feels like to be in a room filled with just love and honestly that's what DragCon is but that's also just what like that community is and that's just how people are and it's just the best thing um i met like so many awesome people that like i get to call my friends now and that like we still talk and you know it's awesome i met like some of my idols they were all great and like i i, I went with like my best friend and we had an amazing time and we laughed and it was awesome and just the convention in general was amazing and honestly like I don't talk about this a lot on my channel but like I am a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race the show but even more than that I'm just a really big fan of like the art of drag in general I think it's just really beautiful that it's like a man a woman or really anyone in between can just dress up and just express themselves through fashion makeup art dance music all of that and i think it's like the most amazing thing i just wanted to share that with you guys because this is my channel and this is like a big part of my life honestly um it's like one of the things that i love the most so yeah i really wanted to share that with you guys now that i'm back home i'm back to having a miserable boring life but that's okay because i'm already planning on going to drag on la but don't get your hopes up on that one because my parents for right now are not down with that but hopefully that will change so yeah i just hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one i know that i've been like a really shitty person and i just really haven't been posting not that you guys really care but like I hope you guys got to see a little bit of what DragCon is like. If you're thinking of going, I definitely recommend it. If you want to meet queens, um, I would recommend VIP. I did not have VIP and I did wait a while, but I think everyone kind of waits a while, especially if you want to meet like a pretty popular queen. Um, the most I waited was three hours for Trixie and then two hours for Katya. Honestly, it's totally worth it. Um, the queens that I met were all super nice and super welcoming and also just like, if you're thinking of going to DragCon and you need some advice, definitely DM me or comment down below if you need like advice on what the day is like and all of that. I'm not an expert, but you know, I went and uh, it was an experience and it was a lot, but it was worth it. So see you guys next time. Thumbtack down